But first up, we're going to take a look at the push to explore new digital opportunities across the finance industry. Through its strong pan-European presence with seven regulated markets, Euronext is looking to scale its post-trade services across multiple markets through Euronext Securities that unite the group's four central securities depositories. That's as well as positioning Euronext Clearing as a European clearing house. A lot going on. To explore this with me in more detail, I'm delighted to say that I'm joined by Anthony Attia. Now, he's the Global Head of Primary Markets and Post-Trade at Euronext. It's very good to see you. Good afternoon. Now, now to just put this into context, is this your very first visit to Cybos, or are you a bit of a Cybos veteran? Well, I, um, I came to Cybos in, like a long time ago. I think it was in 2007 in Vienna, uh, just before the, uh, or just, you know, at the moment of the financial crisis. Which you had nothing to do with, by the Which way. Which I had nothing to do with. <laughs> uh, but no, this is, this is the, the coming back of Euronext at uh, Cybos. We are uh, very happy to be, uh, to be here and we are very happy to also uh, meet with our, our clients and, uh, and partners, uh, both on the, on the clearing side and on the, on the CSD side. So what makes it a good reason or a good time for Euronext to be here? Why now? Well, you said it in introduction. Euronext is composed of seven exchanges today. So the French, Belgium, Portuguese, Dutch, uh, Irish, Norwegian and Italian exchange, which is our, the, the latest addition uh, to Euronext. And also the, uh, the, uh, the acquisition of Borsa Italiana was, was a trigger for a very uh, ambitious and offensive post-trade uh, strategy at Euronext. We, we, we suffered for years uh, not to have our own post-trade uh, businesses. Uh, and um, it, it's, been a, it's been two years, three years that we deliberately uh, grew in that in that area first by the uh, the acquisition of the of the Norwegian uh, CSD uh, called oh. Euronext Securities Oslo now. Uh, second with the uh, the acquisition of the Danish CSD used to call VP Securities is now Euronext Securities Copenhagen, and uh, and uh, with the addition of the Italian uh, businesses now we have a fully uh, a fully um, uh, uh, scalable uh, set of uh, of clearing uh, settlement and custody. Uh, issuance uh, businesses in uh, Europe and we are extremely ambitious to grow it. Right, so this is a pan-European strategy. What does this mean specifically? I, I get a sense of what it does for the business, but beyond that, what, what is the purpose? So the, the, ambitions that we've, the ambition that we've, we've developed across the Europe was to, was to, to keep a very strong um, local footprint in every market that we have. So we, we're the first listing venue in uh, Europe with, uh, with uh, um, uh, close, to, close to, to, to 2,000 equity issuers. We're the home of the CAC 40, of the IAX, uh, of, the, of the Italian uh, blue chips, uh, etc. So these are different bosses, the different European exchanges. Ex exactly. So we also have a very unique model, which is called uh, uh, the single order book. So all our exchanges are running on the same trading platform, uh, which, which allows uh, uh, an Italian investor to, to invest on Belgium securities uh, and, and, and all, the, all the combination that you can imagine. So this is a true um, a capital market union that is embedded in our uh, platform mm -hmm. while keeping strong ties with our local ecosystems. Now, the post-trade part today is extremely fragmented. So several clearing houses are, are supporting our market and, and, and a lot of CSDs in, in Europe exist with close to 30 national CSDs. And uh, our, our ambition is to, uh, is to align uh, this post-trade chain uh, with, with the work that we have done on the listing and on, and on, and on uh, the trading. But it doesn't mean that we're going to centralize things, not at all. It means that we are bringing the different businesses together on the same platform and we are servicing our clients in a, in a, in a unique way, developing services and, and making sure that whether you're in, uh, in Denmark, in Norway, in Italy, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Portugal, uh, you, you deal with Euronext uh, securities. Mm, okay, and Euronext has grown CCNG into Euronext clearing. So again, can you explain what this is exactly? Why is it so symbolic within the context of what you're doing overall? Absolutely. So the, one of the central components of the, of the value chain of an exchange, the clearinghouse. So the clearinghouse provides uh, uh, guarantees, provide, uh, 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 counterparty risk management. And uh, in order for a clearinghouse to be efficient and to, and, to, and to bring security and robustness to the market, we need to be able to manage uh, several asset classes, several markets. And so the more diverse and the larger the, uh, the clearinghouse, we call it a CCP, the, mm. more, the larger uh, the CCP, uh, the more robust. And so thanks to our, our different markets today, we are able to 
uh, leverage on the, on the clearinghouse that we have in the group today, which is in Italy, and it's servicing very well the Italian market, and to transform it into a truly European uh, CCP. So it's an investment on technology, on people, on risk uh, framework, and we have the support of our clients uh, to make it, uh, to make it uh, a truly European success. So it sounds like a very holistic package, effectively. It is. It is. And it's not about recreating a silo, not at all. It's about uh, having the critical mass uh, to uh, provide an entry door to the European market for investors and provide security for the, for the trading uh, community and support the issuers uh, the, best, the best way we can. You see it as disruptive, but in a very positive way, because unfortunately, politically, that word disruption, it does yeah. have a slightly negative connotation. Right, right. <laughs> no, look, I, I believe this is disruptive because we are, we are moving the lines. Uh, we're not, we're not uh, managing legacy businesses. We are, we, are, we are transforming the European landscape to defragment it. But we don't do it in centralizing things, and that's and that's the that's the true that's the true approach of, of Euronext. Well, that is um, the, the radical bit that it isn't centralized. Effectively. It isn't centralized. It is exactly that, uh, and uh, and and so yes, it is uh, disruptive. Uh, but I think um, I think our clients tell us that this is the right thing to do. Mm. And, and what is the value proposition to your clients in order to get them to follow you mm. to Euronext Clearing? Because from their point of view, yeah. it might be a little bit of a leap. Well, look, the, the, we've worked with them, right? We worked with the clients to find, to find um, uh, improvement uh, to, the, to the current uh, services and to find um, economies of, of, of scale. So the value proposition is very simple. We have all the seven markets of Euronext cash equity and derivative business that, that will be supported by one clearing house. Mm. Right, that will provide efficiencies across the different asset classes and we provide uh, uh, transparency on the data, in particular around settlement uh, efficiencies and also leverage on Euronext securities to, uh, to access uh, target to securities in Europe, which is the, uh, the settlement hub. So in effect, it's, it's um, taking uh, the, cons the, the European construction of, of Euronext one step uh, further uh, and, uh, and we are, I think we're ex extremely proud of that. Absolutely. Well, look, it's been such a pleasure talking to you. I'm sure that we'll meet at the next Cybos because there is more to tell on this journey. Yeah. So meet you in, uh, in Toronto. It's next Toronto. Yeah. Yes, Toronto. We'll see you then. But look, Anthony Adia, thank you so much for being thank here you. and joining us on Cybos Television.